What's up YouTube? It's Brandon B, aka Blaze here, and it's time for another movie review. So I just went and I saw the mo uh, movie called Mile 22 with Mark Wahlberg, John Malkovich, um, and Ronda Rousey, and also the one of the main girls, I think it's the girl that plays Maggie in The Walking Dead. Um, but overall, it was a really great movie. I don't know why a lot of people did not like it. Um, the story did make sense. There was tons of action and a lot of martial arts uh, action in it. Um, it was a really great movie. It was kind of like a war type movie, um, but I thought Mark Wahlberg did an excellent job. A lot of people said they didn't like it. I don't see why. I actually thought it was really good. There was tons of action in it. Um, John Malkovich did really good with teaming up with Mark Wahlberg. Um, the movie was really short though. It felt really short to me. It could have been a little bit longer, uh, but they did keep the action really good. Um, the, there was only like a couple scenes of comedy, not too much since it was, it was a war movie. Uh, there was some drama in it, there was a lot of twists and turns, and there was a lot of plot twists, but you don't find out until the end of the movie. Um, basically, I'm going to give this movie a 8 out of 10, um, only because I wished it was a lot longer, and I think they are going to actually be making another movie to this one. So, it'll probably be a lot better, and it'll probably be a lot longer and sum up a lot more things. Basically, it's the story of John Malkovich, who owns a team of, like, black ops people, um, who is, uh, Mark Wahlberg, Ronda Rousey, and, like, some other guy who I don't know, and then the girl from The Walking Dead. Basically, what happens is they lose this crate of uranium or some type of chemical, um, they have to go get that chemical back, so it turns out there's this martial arts guy, and he has, I guess, the code that can unlock on the map where all these chemicals are located. So he wants to, so he actually turns on his government and he comes over to the American government for them to try to help him out by giving him a safe rescue, refuge over to America. And if they get him over to America safe, then he will actually give them the code where they can find all the missing chemicals. Um, but there is a big thing at the end that has to do with this guy. Um, spoiler alert, sorry about this, but turns out he's actually a triple agent. He actually works for his own government, but then he turns on them. He starts working with the American government, but turns out he also works for the Russian government because the Russian government wants that chemicals also so that they could take out America. Uh, but overall, his sequences were actually really good. So basically why it was like mile 22 is because basically... Um, and 22 miles, they had, it was from, like, wherever they were located to the airport, and they had to transport the guy over to the airport. So basically, it was just jump Mark Wahlberg and them trying to transfer this guy to the plane so they can go to America and they can get their code. But turns out, at the same time as them trying to transfer this guy, they also have the, his own government after him trying to get him back. So they're trying to come after America, so they all have to team up and start killing each other. So it's basically just an all-out war. Um, Ronda Rousey did really good. Spoiler alert, she dies. I'm not going to tell you when or where. You just guys will have to just watch it. But there was a lot of action in it, a lot of gunfighting. Uh, the guy actually did use hand combat martial arts style, which I thought was pretty cool. It was just like a Jet Li, Jackie Chan film. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. So please keep on watching. Please subscribe. Thank you.